Hello everyone, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is the fifth episode of Messmaking Mini Junk Journals and in this episode I will be binding the journals. I will also do a few little things before I start the binding and I will be doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch in case you've never heard of it or you've never tried it. Stay tuned and watch. So without any further ado, let's just dive in. Now that we have our signatures ready cut and sorted out before we can bind it into the journal we have to figure out if we're going to do some sewing or anything else that's actually easier to do now before it's part of the journal so in my case i want to do the sewing on this page just to go around here where the pockets are i don't think i'll be doing the sewing anywhere else in the journal oh, these papers are quite fragile and i wouldn't want to, you know, make more holes and make them uh, kind of easy to tear. Uh, in this one here, I was thinking maybe I can do the sewing just down the bottom and to have that as like a tuck spot. So maybe that one. And here where this envelope is, I would like to do the sewing as well here but before I do that I need to put some papers here and I thought maybe just book page and I have two pieces of book page here so I'll just remove this sticky tape side I'll just add some glue stick You know stamping or stenciling or even doing some drawing you can also do that later on but um, sewing it's much easier to do now it's actually quite impossible to do it like that. Off. I had a paper cut just now when I was getting those book pages. Maybe a bit of ink. So yeah, I need to 
go to my sewing machine and do that. I don't think I need to really record it. I'll just do it and then I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I've done the zigzag stitch here on the envelopes. Just stripping off those threads. That's what it looks like. So basically I've gone like here, 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 and then ended up there. Okay, and now I can fold these back. They're like little pockets. And then I can make like the policy envelope closure or something entirely different. I'll think about it. But that can be done later on. Don't have to decide now at all. You can also leave this open like that. You know, and have it uh, all the way to the bottom. This and have it like that. Pocket. Or turn it this way as well. Like so. Have that there. It's, you know, several options, but I like to have it like this. Okay, now here with this one, I'll just trim this. I've done a combination of zigzag and straight stitch, so this is now like a tuck spot. Once I bind the journal, that's going to be closed there, so I didn't bother stitching there or gluing or anything. So just like that. Okay. And then this one. Just get rid of these threads. Also, I've done like a straight stitch and a little bit of zigzag here just for decoration. And that can go on top here. Okay, so now I can bind the journal. I'll just first make myself a template. Okay, so I'll just take a piece of cardstock like this. Cut that. And then I will take this measurement here. If I have two signatures, I usually take this measurement and divide by four. Just something like this. Okay. So you make four and I'll just do, I just eyeball it. Okay. All right. And then I take these two and join them and these two and then I find the middle here just draw a line and then in this case I'll just I'll just go here one and a half cent centimeters okay so now I know I need to punch holes here here, 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 and here. So I'll just take the journal, I'll just put a clip here so it doesn't move. And I like to make holes from this side. This is tiny. Hopefully, I'll be able to clip it. Now I make holes. Yeah. So I'm just doing three whole pamphlet stitch. Okay. There. To 
go through to the other side. Cut that one here. Okay, and then you remove this. Check once more that everything is exactly where you want it. All the pages are lined up properly and all, and that it is all the right way up. If there's any writing or images you don't want them upside down okay. so it would be good now if I could just clip this so it doesn't move okay I'd like to start from the last signature I might like to use either black or grey. Maybe I'll do black one. This is wax thread, but you can use embroidery floss. And maybe it would be it would have been okay in these journals because they're not that heavy or big. But I'll just use this, and I'm going to measure three times. Maybe two of those. One for each signature. Okay. Right. Now here we need to make holes in here too. So I'm just gonna use the same template that I made and I line it up like this in the middle. You can clip it or you can hold it and then you line up your needle or your pokey tool or your owl with that and just push through like so and you can put the needle straight in to hold it in place and then you do the same with these so you line with that line that you've drawn and then you push through same on this side okay and you can remove that Don't go all the way, just like that. Now here, and now I can't see <laughs> the fabric seem to close. Sometimes if the holes close, like in my case, you just have to feel it with your fingers. Take this out. I'm going to turn it the other way around and push it through here and here. And then I'm gonna thread it. I used to do this on occasion, but I always struggle with this and, and sometimes you go through this with your needle and it's just Mess. So this way I'll just do this straight away and I don't have any problems then. I can open up this.
Get to the seat. Totally up to you. Okay. So that signature is in. Now let's do this one. Again, I'll just make sure that all the papers are where I want them to be. This is going to kind of be a little bit difficult, but as long as I do the first hole properly, it should be all right. And I'm going to put it right there. And I forgot to thread my needle. the fiddly part Again, it looks like I'm just going through blind, but I can feel under my fingers where the where I punched the holes, even though the fabric sort of closed up. Okay, so let's just do the same as we did before. this end The journal is bound and it's looking cute. So here it is. I'm loving this little journal. Now all I have to do is do the same with the rest of them. So I'm going to bind all these journals in the same way as I've 
than here with this one and perhaps in the next episode we can you know play around a little bit and do some decorative touches and i absolutely love that part so i hope you will enjoy it too and until next time thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you soon in my next video bye for now